The cocaine family was hoping for a third trial for their son Jamie, who was brutally beaten to death in Cruz Bay in 2007. It's gut-wrenching um, to, to not have that opportunity again. I would much rather have, um, you know, uh, had the jury verdict. I, I don't have, have closure. I, I have a hard time not looking back upon the previous verdicts. Um, I think is, is, is way lenient. I feel um, a little mixed emotions in, in the sense that um, all of this finally seems to be coming to an end. Um, but at the same time, I feel like we got, we got robbed. The defendant's attorney, Michael Quinn, has called the situation a tragedy, but through the rarely used Alfred plea that Ward utilized, he can still maintain his client's innocence. The cocaine family has also expressed frustrations about the attorney general's office's lack of communication. I don't even, you know, return phone calls. Um, so that's, that's really, uh, it's really difficult and, and hard to, to stomach. But the cocaine say they're thankful for the compassion they've received from the St. Thomas community. It, it, you know, tears you up when, when that happens for, for two reasons, for the, the support, but also, you know, for the memory. And, um, you know, just like my dad said, uh, I feel sorry for that, that this person is going to be allowed back out into the public. Because Ward has already served three and a half years, there is the possibility that Judge Brenda Haller could let him out on his January 4th sentencing date. Charlotte Hancock, News 2.